Father Kirby, we are so happy that you could be with us here today on My Voice pleasure. of the Vatican, especially to discuss this new document, The Joy yes. of Love. Thank you for your time, Father. <laughs> My pleasure, yes. I always like to talk about the joy of love. <laughs> That's right, exactly. Couldn't be a better topic, You're wonderful. right? Brilliant. Yes. Father, so much of this document was directed toward the clergy with the idea of pastoral care. Yes. As a priest, would you tell us a bit about how you feel the joy of love will affect and touch your ministry? Yes, well, I think it does some very helpful things in terms of just pastoral work. Uh, first, what does it? It provides very clear guidelines or a vision for pastoral work that we might have had portions of in other documents within the magisterium, the, the teaching office of the church, but we've never really received anything this systematic mm -hmm. in terms of pastoral outreach or discernment or uh, even the fact that it's encouraging members of the faithful to turn to their priest and pastor to ask for help. So I just find it a coalition in some respects of previous council, but then a real system on how that's supposed to be done. And it definitely is giving an emphasis. <laughs> I think we're all saying that Pope Francis, that, that emphasis on the pastoral, the pastoral, the pastoral. And um, that's very important because a lot of people are hurting. A lot of people need guidance. A lot of people want to understand how the church can help them or how the gospel of Jesus Christ can bring hope in their lives. And this new exhortation, this new document, it helps us with that in a very important way. Yes, it does, most definitely. What, what would you say were some of the parts that really touched your heart, that, that really moved you, Father? Yes, well, I, I would say definitely the Holy Father is almost a poet when it comes to love. Uh, he definitely describes the role of love, especially between a man and a woman and, and holy matrimony, but, but also just love itself, love that the priest has for his people to guide them in the gospel, the love God has for us. So there's some really beautiful parts in the exhortation on love. And um, almost in reading it, we can understand the title, The, the Joy of Love, because you're reading it, oh, wow, that's really beautiful. And, oh, wow, look at this. This, this, is, this is the joy of love. So there's some very moving parts in the exhortation that I think uh, people will find not only encouraging, but almost prayerful. I think it'll kind of lead us all to a little deeper prayer. Yes, I love how you mentioned that the Holy Father seems as though he's a poet of love. I know especially chapter four for married couples is so, yes, can be really so poignant. It's true. Father, was there anything that you felt was, was missing in the document that you would have liked to have seen? Yes, well, I think it was over 200 pages, so, <laughs> so there was a lot there. But, um, and, and I do say that joking, but also is uh, no pope can put the entire teaching of, on anything in one document. And um, it's also important that every document that the church gives us, we call this an exhortation, an apostolic exhortation, that every document that's given to us, we, we place within the whole body of teaching, we call the magisterium. You know. so, so there are some parts of the document that are hinted at or mentioned. Um, there's a part of me, I'm, I'm studying moral theology, and I was like, gosh, I, I wish you would say a little bit more here or there and so on. But we place within the whole tradition, we're, we're okay. And, and one area in particular is uh, the area I'm actually writing on, uh, which is the conscience. Uh, how do we form a person's conscience so that they can understand right or wrong? And the Holy Father dives into that and he says, you know, we, uh, we want to form consciences, not impose, you know, on, you know, not to replace them. Uh, and then he says, uh, conscience is not simply, I take a moral principle and I apply it to a situation and so on. You know. And both of those are correct, but both of those maybe need a little bit more explanation. Um, and uh, the rest of the magisterium provides that. We have other documents um, by the church that can help us develop that. And to the priest that it's directed to, those priests will know, oh, okay, this is a part, I need to go back to Veritatis Splendor, which is another document, or I need to go back to Familiaris Consortio, which is another document, that the priest has to be kind of a, a, a doctor of truth and, and doctor of formation mm -hmm. in, in terms of helping somebody. So, so that's one area I would point to, and, and it's kind of my area. Right. <laughs> so I'm a little biased. Sure. But, uh, but, but again, I mean, in light of everything the Holy Father put in there mm -hmm. and what he was trying to address, um, it's a great document, so, and it will, help the, it will help the life of the church. 
And Father Kirby, what is an apostolic exhortation? Yes, that's good. First of all, it's a big name, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> so uh, first time, the, the, the adjective, um, the first part, um, apostolic, just means it comes from, you know, from the teaching office, from the apostles. So the Pope is exercising his authority that was given to Peter and the apostles. So it's an apostolic. It comes from the line of the apostles and so on. But the exhortation in particular is actually one of the lowest forms of teaching, um, the highest is called an apostolic constitution because it involves the, the structure, the constitution of the church. So there's an encyclical. We've heard of different encyclicals. Uh, Laudato Si, the Holy Father's encyclical on the environment, was an example. But an exhortation is a little bit lower. Um, it's an exhortation. It's a reminder, uh, a direction, usually pertaining to something in the life of the church. So, um, so we have exhortations on confession, exhortations on family life. Here we have an exhortation on love, you know. So definitely part of the teaching office. Some of it should be taken very seriously, but it's an exhortation. It's not meant to be a thorough teaching document, but a reminder, an exhortation, a kind of, hey, you better be doing this. <laughs> and we all need those reminders. Don't we? Don't we, Father? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Father Kirby, thank you so much oh, for being pleasure. with us today. Yeah, it is a you. joy to have you. And we very much appreciate your insights on the joy of love. Thank you, Father. God bless you. God bless you.